Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. Today, we are going to talk one of the important uh, topic about uh, user creation. We already know that uh, how to configure the users uh, at different levels, right? We can configure the users from security console. It means uh, we'll create directly the implementation users from there. Another one is uh, HCM users. HCM user is nothing but from Navigator. We'll try to do it from my client groups and do it from new person. It means uh, we are hiring an employee. The moment when we hire an employee, automatically the user account will be generated for an employee, right? That's, that's another one, HCM user. Non-HCM user is nothing but we'll do it from setup and maintenance so manage users. You can check my previous videos in this YouTube channel to get that information about implementation user and transactional user, means employee user and differences. Now this question in the interview is uh, what they're asking is here, when we are creating a user account from the security console, the system is taking by default the email ID. By default, system is going to take the email ID. The moment when we give the email ID, automatically it's going to take that. Okay. So that we wanted to go for a change. Let's say I'm giving here Ramesh dot Kumar at the rate of Gmail dot so here. Here I would like to, uh, right now it's changed. It seems Zambana has changed it to take up from last date that first name, but sometimes uh, says that email ID it's going to take. So where do we configure or from where we will get it? This is, uh, you are supposed to check your uh, user categories. You are supposed to check your user category over here. So where do we check this uh, user categories? We have to go to the tab called user categories here. Yeah. And we go to the tab here, user categories. We can also create our own user category and configure the password policies as well as username, account generation policies, and notification uh, preferences. These things can be configured from here, from user categories. So if I click on default, because uh, right now, whatever the user account, you are trying to create it, it is coming under the default, right? By default, it's taking as default category. Let's go to the tabs here and let's see that. Go to user categories, go to default. The moment when I go to default here, notifications. Password policy here. This is for password policy details. And when I go for user here and details tab, here we can find the user and creation group. First name that last name. Go for edit. Uh, if you change to email, we have four options here. Email, last name, person or party. Person means employee. Party means it may be a customer or supplier. We can also have customer or supplier. So based on that, it will be generated here. I'm going to set that as an email. Go for save and close. Click the button. So when we try to create a user account here, we can see that email is mandatory field. So in the beginning of this session, when I tried to explain, it was optional. Now it's mandatory because we mentioned clearly the username system should consider email address. Can we change this username? The question in the interviews, that's okay. You will go to user categories and you will set username generation method. And this is all, it's fine. But can you go for change this email or whatever username is generated that we wanted to change after completion of this user account or generation? Can we do that? So it can be done. It can be done. Let's show you. Let me show you practically how it can be done. So I'm going to specify the first name as Ramesh Kumar. Ramesh.kumar at the rate of gmail.com. 
Yeah, of course, if you want to change right away, you can change. But now the question is, after completion of user creation, after some time we wanted to change. So is it possible? That's the question. If it's possible, you can verify that. Save and close. Now what is the username? Ramesh.kumar at the rate of gmail.com. This is the user and active, it's not logged. Now we would like to change the user in this. So what we'll do is edit. Now here then can go for update. Go for save and close. Or it will allow us. It means once the user name is generated, still if you want to make some changes to the user. We can go for make the changes. Now, another question here in the interviews. For example, in approval management, when we are working with approval bridges, we know that in global HR model or in finance or in procurement, we are going to have BPM worklist where we will create approval groups. While creating the approval group, you are going to give a user. But right now you have modified the user. Will it synchronize that information over there or do i need to run any programs here any process do we need to submit here yeah. do we need to submit any process here we don't need to submit any of the process the moment the username is changed here automatically it will reflect in all the approval groups wherever we have used wherever we have used in our approval group automatically the username will be changed okay so this is about uh, the couple of entry questions related for user account generation. Okay, thank you. Subscribe for our channel to get into the latest updates about the cloud. Okay, thank you.